When you look at a map of the world, you are not looking at countries, but farms. You are allowed certain liberties, limited property ownership, movement rights, freedom of association and occupation, not because your government approves of these rights in principle, since it constantly violates them, but rather because free-range livestock is so much cheaper to own and so much more productive. It is important to understand the reality of ideologies. State capitalism, socialism, communism, fascism, democracy. These are all livestock management approaches. Some work well for long periods, state capitalism, and some work very badly, communism. They all fail eventually because it is immoral and irrational to treat human beings as livestock. The recent growth of freedom in China, India, and Asia is occurring because the local state farmers have upgraded their livestock management practices. They have recognized that putting the cows in a larger stall provides the rulers more milk and meat. Rulers have also recognized that if they prevent you from fleeing the farm, you will become depressed, inert, and unproductive. A serf is the most productive when he imagines he is free. Thus your rulers must provide you the illusion of freedom in order to harvest you most effectively. Thus you are allowed to leave, but never to real freedom, only to another farm, because the whole world is a farm. They will prevent you from taking a lot of money. They will bury you in endless paperwork. They will restrict your right to work. But you are, quote, free to leave. Due to these difficulties, very few people do leave. But the illusion of mobility is maintained. If only one out of a thousand cows escapes, but the illusion of escaping significantly raises the productivity for the remaining 999, it remains a net gain for the farmer. You are also kept on the farm through licensing. The most productive livestock are the professionals. So the rulers fit them with an electronic dog collar called a license, which only allows them to practice their trade on their own farm. To further create the illusion of freedom, in certain farms, the livestock are allowed to choose between a few farmers that the investors present. At best, they are given minor choices in how they are managed. They are never given the choice to shut down the farm and be truly free. Government schools are indoctrination pens for livestock. They train children to, quote, love the farm and to fear true freedom and independence and to attack anyone who questions the brutal reality of human ownership. Furthermore, they create jobs for the intellectuals that state propaganda so relies on. The ridiculous contradictions of statism, like religion, can only be sustained through endless propaganda inflicted upon helpless children. The idea that democracy and some sort of social contract justifies the brutal exercise of violent power over billions is patently ridiculous. If you say to a slave that his ancestors, quote, chose 
slavery, and therefore he is bound by their decisions, he will simply say, if slavery is a choice, then I choose not to be a slave. This is the most frightening statement for the ruling classes, which is why they train their slaves to attack anyone who dares speak it. Statism is not a philosophy. Statism does not originate from historical evidence or rational principles. Statism is an ex post facto justification for human ownership. Statism is an excuse for violence. Statism is an ideology, and all ideologies are variations on human livestock management practices. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? A religion is pimped out superstition, designed to drug children with fears that they will endlessly pay to have, quote, alleviated. Nationalism is pimped out bigotry designed to provoke a Stockholm Syndrome in the livestock. The opposite of superstition is not another superstition, but the truth. The opposite of ideology is not a different ideology, but clear evidence and rational principles. The opposite of superstition and ideology of statism is philosophy. Reason and courage will set us free. You do not have to be livestock. Take the red pill. Wake up. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room, you can see it when you look out your window, or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. My truth. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes.
All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more.